So this year, you will try. I'm begging you. Please let me beg your neighbor. Please read your Bible. I'm begging you, well. You see, you see why I'm begging? The devil meant so much havoc that is planning. But God already made the way out for us. And the way out is in his world. So if you keep the solution in your pocket, and you didn't bring it out, will you have solution? You won't have. So read your Bible voraciously. And let God speak to you through his world. So let people read their Bible very well. So the next challenge I want to give to you this year, is that please do not deny the fellowship of brethren. Do not run away from fellowship. This year, God wants us to fellowship together like the early church. And we move on together. You know the devil has had a slogan. If you eat alone, what will happen to you? You will die alone. <laughs> If you walk alone this year, you are likely to run into trouble alone. So do not deny the fellowship. So please attend the house fellowship. Attend fellowship where this year. God knows why he's asking us to do that. Because he will need. You see, so many things are happening, some people will not know. You don't have any close friend in church. You don't have anybody you can speak to. So you have issues and you are keeping it yourself and say, ah, that church, they don't like you. They don't know. If we don't, ah, can we, do, are we going to open your mind to be reading your mind? You are not talking to anybody. You are not doing anything to anybody. This year, the hand that is paining you, raise it up. Let everybody see it. <laughs> don't keep it inside the pocket. Oh. Raise it. Let everybody see it. Fellowship where this year. And you will reap the result of genuine fellowship in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Finally, number four. Learn to be alone with God. Learn to be alone with God. You need to pray. Yes, it's good. But learn to be alone with God, to meditate with Him. Let Him speak to you. Uh, this pastor said this, Pastor said this, Pastor Debole said this. Uh, no, listen. What did He say to you yourself? He has given you ear, both inside and outside, for you to hear Him and to perceive Him. So learn to be alone. And I want to play with the cup. As much as possible, learn to be together and meditate on the word of God. Learn to sit down and ask God questions. There will be less crisis. Many of your issues will have been resolved by God before they come. Learn to sit down before God as a family and talk to God. Before those children, before the devil take a loan of them, you will have seized them from 